You have a wall of girls in your lobby who look just like Carlisha. Are they home? I am putting all of my resources into this case. I see you have a daughter, Detective. I do. So I don't have to ask you to imagine the pain if she never came home. I will bring your daughter home. Yeah? OK. Welcome back. Welcome back. We are still talking with our friend Kenya Moore. She's starring in the new Lifetime movie, Abducted Off the Street, the Carlisha Gaither story. In this, which you, you touched on it when we were talking before about how you teach Brooklyn, even at her own age, to know mm -hmm. her phone number, mm -hmm. to be aware as best she can yes. of her safety. In this film, we see things that Carlisha did to try to make sure that people knew where she was. Um, it was a dramatization of it, but she leaves her phone at the mm -hmm. location where she was taken so they could yes. trace it. She let her abductor use her credit card at the ATM so people could yes. find him. So she, she was dropping she those hints and all along the way. Yes. You know, I think it's really important in th this day and age to just have situational awareness as well. Yeah. Just to be aware of your surroundings, what is going on. Don't just get into your car. Get into your car with a purpose. Look around you. Check out everything. Look at, you know, the safest mm -hmm. route to take. Mm -hmm. So that's number one. Stay off your phones. You know, yeah. as especially as women, we're so distracted. Right, right, right. All the time on our phones with social media. I tell people all the time, <sighs> you know, Listen to what's happening. Like, your body and your mind will tell you. Mm -hmm. I was mugged on the street once. I'm walking, and I'll never forget it. I looked over, and I locked eyes with this person, and I said, hmm. It didn't and feel right. I, it didn't feel right. Before I knew mm -hmm. it, he was dragging me down the street. Mm -hmm. And my arm got hooked into the handbag, and I was able to break free. But mm -hmm. I look back at that moment, and I remember looking feel at that, that individual and something about it didn't yes. feel right to me. Yes. And now, 30 years of being a journalist, I've interviewed survivors of the unimaginable, and I can tell you the majority said, I had a feeling. You had that feeling. I yes, had a listen feeling. to your gut. As women, yeah. we have that gift of our gut. Yeah. You know, and so you have to listen to your gut. You have to, you, you have to be intentional with everything that you yeah. do. And I think that it, this story is so important because it really highlights the, the disparity in the news media yeah. when black women go missing. Yeah. And we need to change that. And I think by watching this film and supporting it's the an film awakening. and the cause. It's an awakening. I last, last time you were here, beginning of the year, you said 2024, you wanted more... More, more. More, more. <laughs> more, more. Yes. Uh, you said this is, oh, it's 2023. Yes. But you also said that you wanted to be more about you, focusing yes. in on you. You ended up going to Morocco. Yes, I went to Morocco for my birthday, um, went to Paris, did Paris uh, Couture Week. That's just not in Morocco. You're in a hot air balloon in I'm Morocco. I'm in a hot air balloon. This is part of my bucket list. I'm, like, going to do whatever I want to do. No fear, 2024. I love it. Yes. That's you, Fashion Week in Paris. Yes. <laughs> and then last fall, um, you pretty much broke the internet. <laughs> Kenya goes to see Usher in Vegas after we went, and she gets on stage. Oh. Um, if you're at work, that's what they call not safe to open at work email. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do you me like all that. are having fun. <laughs> and then the next thing I know, there's talk about you being in the video with him. Yes, there was talk. I didn't get the call. And I'm still waiting on the call for Wait, the what? Super Bowl tickets. <laughs> okay, after that outfit, you need to get Super yeah, Bowl right. tickets from him and the video. <laughs> but you've been friends for... <laughs> yeah. You've been friends for a long time. Yes, yes. But this acquaintances, is all, Acquaintances yeah. for a long time. So this is all a part of your... This just living, you know, and it's funny because I went... Uh, to Las Vegas a, a few weeks before, and my girlfriend was there. And I said, you just take the tickets because we didn't get three all together. And then the next couple of weeks, I went, and that happened. And I'm like, see, I did the right thing. And look how I got uh, blessed. Look <laughs> see, look at, look at God. <laughs> uh, I love it. OK, I, before I, because I know you got to get going, but I got to get back to this um, uh, housewife's big move with Candy. As I said, we're both friendly with her. I'm friendly with her. Mm. She said that 
things wait. It's been 14 seasons and they allowed us to sit around for a little too long. Yeah. What is what does that mean? Well, they were thinking about after last season, recasting the show, figuring it out, and it's, it's taken forever. And so we start making moves. You know, she started doing other projects. I She's started producing doing this the wig. Yeah, you started doing Yes, this. I'm working on Kenya Moore hair care. Yeah. You know, so yes, yes. You're open a hair salon. I work I opened a hair, hair salon, salon in Atlanta. It's just I started focusing on other things. And then, you know, I think for her, time was not on their side, and she decided to move in another direction. And we know Candy will be fine. Right, she right. is that girl, so she'll be fine. Is Nene coming back? I don't I don't know. I can't answer that. Um, that question has been asked a lot of times, but according to our boss, that's that door is closed. But you know, you never know. Are you enjoying yourself still on the because I mean, it, yeah. I can't believe how many seasons you will be the longest. Cast I'll be member. the oldest. Yeah, the well, oldest too. <laughs> <laughs> Older and wiser. What, yes. what would you? What would you tell the Kenya who first joined that franchise versus the Kenya now and Damn what she it. knows <laughs> about going on national reality oh, TV? Um. That's a tough one. You know, be authentic. Yeah. Always, you know, be authentic. But uh, give them hell. I don't know. Just, <laughs> <laughs> I think I did that, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Just be careful. <laughs> are, you, are you planning to stay for a few more years? What, what's the You plan? know what? We, they haven't made any final decisions. I think that they'll be announcing that shortly. But, you know, for me, I'm just focusing on the new for Kenya Moore. Yeah. You know, the new for me, just my bucket list, my businesses, yeah. and just focusing on leaving that legend, um, you know, uh, for my daughter. You know, showing her who she can possibly be. Just the legacy.